wondered what division would be best for you or even thought maybe I should switch to a different division? Well, on today's episode of FemFlex Friday, Whitney, Linda, and Wendy and I are going to be dissecting each division and helping you maybe understand a little bit more about each division and maybe helping help you decide which division would be best for you. So please be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to follow all of our episodes on Olympia TV. So, ladies, yes, ooh, this is something that a lot of athletes struggle with. Um, some, you know, a lot of them already know which mm -hmm. division is good mm -hmm. for them, but there's a lot of athletes who might be on the cusp between right. two divisions mm -hmm. and, um, you know, a little confused on, like, mm -hmm. which would be best for them. So mm -hmm. maybe just briefly before we kind of dive into each division, as coaches, yeah. you know, what, what do you guys see that often with some of your clients or mm. new clients? Oh yeah, I think mm -hmm. like for us, I usually like really take a look at someone's body type. It's cool because there's the new wellness division that's added and women tend mm -hmm. to, you know, just because of the way that we store our body fat and we tend to be more bottom heavy. So that wellness division really caters to that, that yeah. feminine structure. Um, but structures are, are really key. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think that before bikini and physique and wellness were all created, I was in the era, you know, like Whitney mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. where it was just fitness and figure. Mm -hmm. And so there were a lot of girls who had beautiful bodies, but they were narrow in the shoulders, they had long torsos, and they just didn't succeed in the figure mm -hmm. division. But it's like, gosh, if there was only a division for these, mm -hmm. for these women, you know, mm -hmm. then the bikini division was added. And right. then women who had more narrow shoulders, longer torsos, they tended to really thrive in that division. And then so, you know, so on and so forth. But for me, for figure, I think that would have been my best division no matter what because I have really broad shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think that kind of caters to that. But what do mm -hmm. you guys think? Yeah, I just think this is a really great topic because I see, like you're saying, how, yeah. as we've evolved and yeah. each division added, uh, I would see a woman, she'd go, oh, I'm going to do that now. And, yeah. I'm gonna, and it's not like you can just, yeah. you know, yeah. just move back and forth easily no, and, between and, or and, transition. And and that can set you back. Mm -hmm. right? As a judge, I back. see a lot of athletes who will be, you know, doing cross divisions, which is great, especially yeah. if you're trying to figure out, like, where you fit in yeah. um, and what you like. But stay doing you know cross between two yeah. divisions as a new athlete for a long duration mm -hmm. of time it's you got you got to pick one direction mm -hmm. well i see a lot of girls that come in and they they may have like an idol in yeah. our sport yeah. whether it's uh -huh. bikini figure right whatever. right right so they follow that division that i'm going to compete because they're in the gym and someone's like you should compete yeah so they know one division yeah and they may come in i want to do bikini and they have structure like windy and right it's like Oh, girl, well, you've got amazing yeah. structure mm -hmm. for figure. Well, no, I right. really want to do bikini. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's tough because they may be naturally gifted in yeah. a certain division. Right. And as a coach, I feel like it's our job yeah. to really say, look, you could maybe do bikini, but you're going to spend hours running off yeah. that muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Fit in a division your body naturally yeah. mm -hmm. meant for you right. when you love to lift, yeah. you have natural structure, you're not going to be able to do that if you right. want to do bikini. You already have too much muscle coming in. Mm -hmm. right. So it's hard because I think if they don't understand the divisions, all the different mm -hmm. options, mm -hmm. they just think, I'm just going to compete and you yeah. just choose one. And that's yeah. actually yeah. not yeah. the way you should do it. Yeah. The divisions are designed to meet each body's needs. So yeah. there's different body types and that's what's so great about the sport and yeah. all the divisions that women have is that they're all designed to meet your particular body type. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna kind of dive into each division mm -hmm. and dissect them. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think first we're gonna start with bikini, which is the smaller, um, the smaller structure, the smallest structure or physique out of all the women's divisions. Mm -hmm. um, we are gonna pull up Maureen Blanquisco, who is the um, our current Olympia champion. Um, and so we're going to compare her front and back side. So we'll start mm -hmm. with her back side. So mm -hmm. as you can see, so this is bikini, um, full glutes. Yes. Um, you don't see separations. 
um, in her mm -hmm. in her muscles. No striations. Um, she has a nice conditioning balance between where you can, you know, soft lines where you can see the muscle, but not mm -hmm. like too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then she has that nice hourglass where the shoulders match the proportions of her glutes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, her quads are not um, protruding out, so her quads are a nice balance, but Maureen portrays a really nice balance. Mm -hmm. So all let's see her out. front side. What did you say? It's all just like, it just flows. So yeah, it yeah. Yeah, flows. flows really well. So mm -hmm. then here's the front side of bikini. Again, softer lines. Um, you know, she does have fuller shoulders, nice full glutes. Her quads, there's no separation in her quads, which is a big thing, big yeah. big difference between bikini and some of the other divisions. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you don't see chiseled abs. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, she has nice lines, but nothing is too hard and chiseled. Mm -hmm. um, skin tone and skin tone is very important as well. Um, Marina has really nice skin tone, her hair and makeup. You know, bikini, I would say, is one of the more subjective divisions out of the whole yeah. yeah, because mm -hmm. it's, it's they're so. It's, I mean, we just saw with you know with the Olympia and the Arnold's. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of there's there could be a lot of variations mm -hmm. and yeah. very very small differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so hitting it just right with the bikini is is tricky, but this is kind of like the overall look, kind of like a girl going to the beach who's in really good shape. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's in really yeah. good shape. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. really does nail it. So that. talk about you said with abdominals. I know yeah. like not chisels. So. What would you say to a, a, an athlete and they have like, they're small, they have that package, but they have like yeah. chiseled athletes. Well, you can flex How do you and not flex them yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and that can be really tricky. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's one thing, I mean, I, I, when, I, when I competed in yeah. bikini, I loved having abs. That was yeah. my right. favorite yeah. thing. And you I, did have and killer I, abs. And I, get, I did get docked for it, but there was a certain part yeah. where I was like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. But there's ways that you can yeah. go about yeah. um, toning that down. So for a bikini, not many bikini girls work their abs because yeah. you get enough abdominal mm -hmm. exercising through yeah. compound mm -hmm. exercises. Mm -hmm. So, you know, really laying off. If you have yeah. chiseled abs, you just don't really want to do, yeah. you don't need to do crunches. You don't need to really mm -hmm. build them out, especially mm -hmm. doing like weighted crunches mm -hmm. or like yeah. the pull downs, which mm -hmm. a lot of us love to do. Like those can help add to yeah. that muscle. Um, and yeah, just kind of elong also elongating your front yeah. toes will help kind of stretch them out. So I they're see. Not, see, they're not there's a lot of misconceptions here when it comes to like mm -hmm. shredded abs and stuff. I think that it uh, some women misinterpret that as oh, I need to be softer. I need to have more body fat. Yeah. The thing that's mm -hmm. so unique about Maureen, and we talked about this so many times, is that she nails that balance between conditioning yeah. and softness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is a really hard balance to have. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is a body type, you know, and that doesn't mean if you don't have that body type where you can nail it, you know, with your genetics, you can't nail it. It just, making that mark is harder. So uh, women usually err on the side of either too soft or too hard, mm -hmm. and finding that perfect balance yeah. It is tricky. It is really Interesting tricky. balance. But yeah, let's go on is. to wellness because we have to go through all the divisions. So here is the champion of the wellness division mm -hmm. for this year's uh, 2022 Olympia, Francielli Matos. Um, so here is wellness. Now, you know what's funny is I feel like people kind of can say that wellness is the step between bikini and figure, but mm. wellness is so unique. Yeah. Yes, it is. It stands I alone. agree it stands with you. alone because if... if Wellness women had upper bodies like figure, they yeah. would almost look more like physique or bodybuilding. Yeah. I agree. Their, lower, their lower their lower portion is so much more dominant. I think it's yeah. very I dominant. Say too, like this is the only division where they don't want you balanced. Yes. It's clear mm -hmm. yes. clearly yeah. stated. So you should be unbalanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So every other division is balanced. Yeah. They want balance in your legs, from your yeah. quads to your hamstrings to your glutes. To your calves. To your calves. Mm -hmm. Um but the upper body they want it to be more like bikini. So yeah. mm -hmm. bikini, like Small. as you can, she has she has you know uh, shoulders similar to what we saw mm -hmm. with Marine, mm -hmm. um, and we'll do a comparison with everybody later on. Mm -hmm. But um, she did, wellness wellness will have a little bit more muscle muscle than bikini, mm -hmm. um, but the same type of conditioning where there's not that hard 
uh, yeah. separation with their with their muscles. And this is like in the same family with like Coca Coca Cola mm -hmm. bottle shape. Like that yeah. was the way we've described women for years. Yeah, yeah because we're normally narrow yeah. or smaller, yeah, 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 yeah. very tiny waist. Yeah, yeah. Coca Cola shape. It's the Coca Cola. Yeah. Coca -Cola. So here you can see she her has here no first. glutes. I mean, she, <laughs> no glutes. I, she needs what? to work on those oh glutes. Oh my god. Yeah, she's so she's impressive. So. Wow. So Love bikini that, that we just saw with Maureen, way different backside mm -hmm. to Francie. And Maureen actually had more shoulders um, on top. So this is really showing the difference for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so so Francielli, the quad difference is is mm -hmm. much bigger yeah. than, mm -hmm. than in bikini. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, you see those sweeps, her hamstrings, her glutes are way more chiseled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she just has, she holds a, so much muscle on their lower half. So somebody yeah. who would be looking for wellness is somebody who is more dominant in their lower yeah. body maybe yeah. they played soccer growing up or they have that they have that development and mm -hmm. they're trying to find that where they fit mm -hmm. wellness was created just for that body type yeah and, and those totally quads and the glutes that's definitely i mean it reminds it's bodybuilding to me yeah i mean you know what yes. i mean yeah. I, for when sure. i first like sat and watched the women in yeah. wellness, I said, God, look at the flare on her quads, yeah. the separation, yeah. and just the development of the, of the glutes. So, yeah. Well, we're yeah. going to go into some of their mm -hmm. training videos, and you'll, it is like bodybuilding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we have um, Sid Sydney Gillen, who is our 2022 uh, figure champion. Six time. Yeah. yeah. Six, six time. times. Yeah. Six. <laughs> just six. That's yeah. all. Um, so... I'm gonna let Wendy yeah. take over this one since this is her realm. Yeah, well, genetically, figure you is unforgiving. You know, you have to have the broad shoulders and the narrow hips. That is something that, you know, if, if an athlete comes to us and they have like broad shoulders, narrow hips, even if the muscle's not there yet, I'm usually like, this is gonna be your division. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm. definitely everything is balanced. It's perfectly balanced head to toe. The legs have a little bit less development than wellness. So I wouldn't say that wellness is between figure and bikini by mm -hmm. any means. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit less in the quads, but definitely more in the upper body. It's a perfect balance. Symmetry from the top to the bottom. You have the lats. You wanna see the lats flaring in the front, the, the shoulders. And again, a kind of similar though to bikini, there is this perfect balance of conditioning. And mm -hmm. a lot of women misinterpret this as, and this is hard for me to, to nail too, a lot of us have a hard time nailing this, which is the fullness of the muscle without being overly shredded looking. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, separation yeah. definitely in, in the, the shoulder to the bicep, separation in the quad, abs are showing but there's no graininess there's not like a bunch of veins popping out mm -hmm. and that's why she continues to be the champion mm -hmm. she's kind of like that gatekeeper you yeah. know she hangs on mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. image of perfect fullness perfect symmetry perfect conditioning and I it's it's so awesome that we have a athlete competing in this division that literally nails exactly what the judges are looking yeah. for because mm -hmm. that isn't necessarily the case like the champion mm -hmm. isn't necessarily exactly mm -hmm. what the judges are looking for but these are the <clears throat> closest things to it yeah so that's wow that's well a, said yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so next we're going to go into the fitness division um which the, with, with the poses that we're going to show, so the the fitness, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to let you take it. <laughs> hey, you never know. I'd, I'd love to. You hear judge it. all of us. You know yes, what you're looking yeah. at. I know. You know what you're looking at. Well, for fitness, um, criteria is technically the same in the physique round. We are yeah. a division that has two two per rounds that count. Physique is one third of our score. The routine portion is two thirds. So, in regards to the physique round. The rules are the same. So everything that Wendy just mentioned. Which is why they, which is why they look similar to figure. Right. Yes. Definitely. So this is Missy. She's the current Olympia champ. Same, again, same structure in regards to what they're looking for, front yeah. side, back side, everything Wendy said. And then, again, two-thirds. So majority of our score is based on our performance. There are four mandatory moves that we have so to do. Two-thirds mm -hmm. of your score is the performance? Yeah, two-thirds. So mm -hmm. you could not do well in the physique round yeah. and then still come out as the champ if the routine mm -hmm. is that much better. Mm -hmm. I mean, in reality, you still probably should be a, at least, say, top five, six mm -hmm. in physique round if you're going to be able to mm -hmm. kind of place. Right. Yeah. But, but isn't you're there more pressure on cam. you guys at, at the pro level? Because what I've noticed is when I look at the, the shows, like, 
qualifying to go to the Olympia Lake. An athlete will win, and she's not maybe as conditioned, but I noticed with you guys at the Olympia yeah. Lake, oh. your condition and on yeah. point as far as in that, that physique yeah. round and, and your routine are the bomb. The and then we have to, yeah, so we have to deplete, yeah. be conditioned, yeah. polish, poise, and then go, yeah. oh, yeah, now let's have energy to do a two minute which is full amazing. out routine that was mm-hmm. that was the thing that i that made me switch to figure from fitness i just was like what <laughs> and so that's what i personally love like i yeah. feel like i as an athlete for me mm-hmm. i love the creative process the creative outlet yeah where if i just had to pose i'd be completely bored if you want me yeah. to be uh-huh. honest yeah, yeah. yeah. so you. to me say, that's girl, where say. I get I get challenged, and of course you can, as you can see, Missy did a shark Whoa, theme last year. That was so, um, that you was can so come creepy. up with anything. That's you great. can have apex, awesome right. costumes. You can have, you know, props. You can do whatever you mm-hmm. want. So it's mm-hmm. an amazing creative outlet. And there are four mandatories, but the truth of the matter is, the fitness division is unique because there's no black and white criteria Uh you have to obviously they have some kind of guidelines you have to have you know Mm -hmm. um very fast-paced aerobic style routine you don't Mm -hmm. have to do gymnastics and tumbling passes Mm -hmm. so as long as you hit the mandatories which is push up you know straddle hold high kicks but at the higher level you probably should be doing flips yes and no i've never seen a top five not do a flip actually oksana Oksana. did not have even a backhand Spring. Adela Garcia mm. and, and Adela, but yes. but you should probably look like you're getting ready to head to Cirque du Soleil if you're <laughs> for <laughs> sure. They have a different <laughs> style, so I'll say that because there are a lot of girls trapeze. that don't want to do fitness because yeah. they weren't gymnasts. Right. I don't. I, I have no gymnastics yeah. experience. I can flip though. Yeah, but it's not required. So yeah. what was your so. background in fitness? I did. I was a cheerleader. Oh, cheerleader. And I just like to do but crazy I was, stuff, yeah. honestly. I would say <laughs> that I think women would be surprised at what they're capable of. Because I think yes. that if you go to, like, open gym and you train, most women, I mean, even if you're, like, in your 20s and 30s, you could probably learn how to do a back handspring. Well, and here's Ooh. what I tell anyone who right? has interest. <laughs> if you like to perform, if you mm-hmm. have any experience with dance, gymnastics, talent, whether yeah. it's like hula hooping, jump roping, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, martial arts, as long as you have something and you have the desire yeah. to to perform, mm-hmm. you could do fitness. She's selling this to you guys. Yes. Yeah. She is selling we this. We want right? more. I mean, yeah, because so, the fitness needs to grow. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Too many people say, oh, it's too hard. It's so fun. Yeah, so fun. I know. So we're going to go on to our women's physique division. We have uh, the Natalie Coelho, the uh-huh. 2022 yes. champion. So, Linda, why don't you take... Um, Talk about Natalia. Talk about this this division. Um, Well, first of all, with this division, when I think of women's physique um, conditioning, they're just on point now. They're really on point. And there is a big difference between women's physique and bodybuilding. Some people think they can uh, make that transition between the two, and it's it's not. So basically, I mean, she's doing everything that a bodybuilder, female bodybuilder does. Their posing is, is slightly different, but in regards to their physique, conditioning is very important. The judges are not asking you to come up with, to have striated glutes, but you will see more, <laughs> you know, striated glutes yeah. with, with these athletes. And when you look at Natalia in comparison to uh, Sarah Vegas, the, the uh, two-time Olympia yeah. mm-hmm. women's physique champion, and this is Natalia's first year as as the reigning champion um and you look at the two physiques uh you could basically like tell when you look at for example with sarah sarah was a smaller she's smaller structure smaller frame mm-hmm. and she slowly put on on that muscle versus um natalia i think natalia has like fuller mm-hmm. like she's yeah. she's a little bit bigger has the potential yeah she has the potential to be uh, bigger, larger, Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, whereas with Sarah, I just feel like with Sarah's physique, so you see a variety of different yeah. physiques, but Sarah's physique, it seems like she will always consistently, I can't see her t- 
transferring right. over, transitioning into women's bodybuilding. Her variable yeah. really is conditioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really about it's really about conditioning. It's about, of course, with all the divisions, it's about balance. Um, so in saying that, are you recruiting Natalia Coelho into bodybuilding at some point? No, no <laughs> but what I'm saying is like it's I think she's probably dealing the same uh, it's the same situation as what's because our reigning champion women's bodybuilding she came from women's physique uh -huh. Andrea Shaw mm -hmm. and Andrea Shaw was she had to really work right. to not put on muscle yeah. and Natalia I've seen you know Natalia's pr improved well um, Natalia has mm -hmm. gone from figure to women's physique that's right, right. Yeah. and that's she's right. still a youngin I think yeah. she's mm -hmm. like what 25 she's got yeah. time with and that's what I'm saying yeah. basically she, she could, could really yeah. I mean mm -hmm. I can look at her frame and her structure when you see Sarah Look in at, person, yeah. Sarah's tiny. Yeah. Like small. Yeah. You yeah. Know? She is very she's compact. small. And, and opens you up at, and you're like, Whoa. Yeah. Yep. And and with Natalia, I think her her structure or her body frame. But I've seen women in this division, what's really cool, I've seen very tall women be successful. Yeah. Short yeah. Short women. So it's not like you have to be um uh, how can I say, just like big bone, big yeah. frame right. mm -hmm. or, or Five two right, or right, five right. three. You it's can all how be, you carry it. Yeah, yeah, there are a few that have been very successful. Yeah. So lastly, we have uh, women's bodybuilding. We have mm -hmm. the champion Andrea mm -hmm. Shaw mm -hmm. and Linda. You can just continue down this road. Yeah. She's, chas she's chasing your record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's cool. I mean, and and that's where, like we said. She was a women's physique competitor, and she was like holding off, like just holding back as far as her training and and all that. And she does have room to continue to grow, but um, I think she's perfect. Uh, and I think that that's where, as a champion or any of us, like trying to maintain being yeah. in that division. Yeah. So with women's bodybuilding, I think that especially being the champion, it's important to stay in your lane mm -hmm. and to not get in, be in fear of, okay, yeah. I have to be bigger. Because yeah. you it's not about her being bigger. bigger right. yes. What would you say mm -hmm. to, to her? I mean, do you think that if she maintained like this, you think she's like undefeatable? Or do you think that there's anything that you see she could improve on? Um, well, I feel like, like to me that's, okay, I know that structure is super important, right? Structure is super, super important. And based on what we're seeing in the women's and bodybuilding division, she's the one with the ultimate yeah. package. Like yeah. there's no she one is. yet with all of the qualities. Yeah. The, the size symmetry, the amount of muscle, the conditioning, and the head to toe. Yeah. Because this is a competition. You're looking at the face too. The yeah. beauty. Very, we need the beauty. Yes. Well, yes. we're going to take a quick commercial break, <laughs> and then we're going to come back and we're going to do some more comparisons with all these ladies. So don't go anywhere. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm going to grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables. F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. Welcome back to FemFlex Friday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment below. We want to hear what you're thinking. So, um, so after we've just reviewed all the divisions, mm -hmm. we've kind of dissected them a little bit deeply, uh, we're going to do a full comparison so we can see all the different body types. Oh, fun. Kind of what we were talking mm -hmm. about is there's different body types that fit each of these yep. divisions. Uh -huh. So, um, hey, Nico, if you can put on that comparison, that'd be great. All right, so here we are. So we have, we can turn around if you guys would like okay. to. Okay, oh but great. Here we have, you know, all the different divisions of women that we just talked about. Bikini, wellness, wow, figure, yeah. fitness, mm -hmm. women's physique, bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. But you can mm -hmm. kind of see a good side-by-side -side mm -hmm. of the difference of physiques. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so what, mm -hmm. Whitney, Yes. you had a fitness background, so that's pretty obvious. Yeah. But for someone who's like, I don't know which division to to find or which which division would be best for me, what would mm. you would you what would you tell them? Can I can I get Because we're also gonna go into training styles. Okay. And <clears throat> um, I could get up, right? Yes. Okay. 
All right, well, I'm, I just want to point out that when I look at this, I see Maureen, you can see her, her shoulder width is a lot more narrow mm -hmm. than say, look at, you can see mm -hmm. Sid. Yeah. And, oh yeah. And Missy. Missy, yes. Yes. Natalia. You know, and you also notice that France, her shoulders are pretty narrow too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she has like the lower body dominance, mm -hmm. but that really stands out because you see like the width really comes out here on Sid and mm -hmm. Missy. We have mm -hmm. just a you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And that that is like the that's like kind of like paramount to like from here to there. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's really what stands out to me. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's literally the first thing, the very basic level mm -hmm. is looking at your width from your collarbone, your your just upper body, your yeah. shoulders. That mm -hmm. kind of is the major factor for women in yeah. choosing the division. Mm -hmm. Are you narrow or are you wide? Are you broad mm -hmm. up that top? That just really stands well, out. Well, and, and how how difficult is it for you to build muscle? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. how, yes. how, it, some, Correct. Some women have a harder Correct. time putting on muscle. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. I, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I could never, I just, I, that's something that and I And I think that's with. where a lot of women will get in trouble yeah. is yeah. if they, again, and they're not staying in their own lane or they don't have a coach, that will like lead them and direct them to right. let them know, say, hey, you know, uh, you don't put on muscle easily, like you're narrow or your shoulders, you don't have that that development, yeah. and you, it's no way to you just could, fix it by. Yeah. You yeah. could end up in a bad situation, like you, you know, very if you, much. If you are somebody who, like, if you're a mesomorph, for me yes. as a track athlete, I had to, I had to like, I couldn't even touch a weight because I didn't want to gain weight and be too heavy to mm -hmm. like sprint faster, right? Mm -hmm. And so like for me, right off the bat, like I was putting on muscle. But if I were to try to like shave that off, it, would, it wouldn't be actually, wouldn't be healthy for me. Yeah. You know? right. So Low on top of that, rating. but then you also see if somebody has a really hard time building muscle, but they want so bad to chase after a division, they might go to extreme measures right. to mm -hmm. build that muscle and that's also not healthy. Yep. So yes. this is more than just, you know, just selecting body types, selecting divisions. You know, if you're in your 20s and 30s, you may not be thinking about this much, mm -hmm. but eventually you're going to hit your 40s and yeah. your 50s. Yeah. Well, let's let's name yes. let's yeah. name maybe two or three athletes that we can think about who has changed divisions to suit their body types. I'll start I'll, I'll mention mm -hmm. one. Um, the person I'm going to mention is um, Rita Paulson. So Ooh, she was yeah. a, she was a bikini competitor. I competed mm -hmm. with her many times, mm -hmm. and she did well. Yeah. She would always be in the, usually in the first call yeah, out, sure. but she always had much more dominant legs right. and calves, right. mm -hmm. and and she she would always she she had to diet so hard and do so much cardio to yeah. downsize it. Mm -hmm. And she's gone into wellness, and she's just allowed yeah. her body to okay. train the way she wants. Right. Mm -hmm. She's not you know she's feeding it. She feels mm -hmm. better. And she's doing she's doing better and better and better. And she's right. having to continue to mm -hmm. grow out those muscles that mm -hmm. she's worked hard to kind of right. trim down. But who else could you guys? Um, I thought of Erin Stern. I was just about oh, to say Erin yeah. Stern. I mean, she's a champ, champ. Yeah. Yeah. champ, an Olympia yeah. champ, who then decided. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. Olympia. Well, and and Erin Stern is she's an all natural athlete. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was she wanted to also kind of just tone down her yeah. her muscularity. She was figure. And, if if mm -hmm. you don't know, yeah. she won figure. And she went into bikini, um, but she. She has, yeah. She she mm -hmm. recently competed mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. Olympia mm -hmm. in bikini division, but oh yeah. So yeah. that was a lifestyle choice. And there's and an athlete. I'm trying to remember her name. She won the Puerto Rico Pro and figure, and she was in the Olympia, and she looked beautiful. She has total platinum blonde hair, and she has a beautiful figure. Um, but she is a little bit more narrow in the shoulders. She has a long torso, and she's got really beautiful lower body. She got she won the Puerto Rico push. She has a huge following on social mm. media. I'm trying to remember her name. What I'm, division was she in? Figure. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And and she, after the Olympia, she made a post about how in the wellness, uh, the, the well, guy who covers all the wellness um, Athletes. Athletes. Well, uh, Wellness Observer. Yes. Oh, he's always okay. talking Shout about, out. Yeah. Always to Johnny Styles. <laughs> Johnny Styles. You're always talking about her. Well, and she gets, name, I think of Jessica Reyes, but Jessica's no. No, no, not Jessica. Jessica no. plays so, second, and she's from Puerto Rico. Jessica, yeah. she's, she's, her muscles are very balanced. But this particular athlete, I'm interested because she hasn't done the uh, wellness division yet. But mm -hmm. it's interesting because she did um, 
have uh, some success and figure, but I do know, gosh, I can't remember her name. So she's going to wellness. And she's going to wellness, yeah. So Johnny Smiles, like, please let us know the yes. Yes. Below. You know. <laughs> I feel like so many of the athletes, especially with all the interviews, mm-hmm. Linda, you and I have done um, over the years on Finflex Friday, so many of the bodybuilders or women's physique athletes started in figure yeah. primarily mm-hmm. because you know women's yeah. physique was not there right yeah. so right. they started and even like natalia that we just mm-hmm. talked about she progressed yeah. so it's like mm-hmm. yeah one thing i think that is worth mentioning and i'm sure you guys have seen this we like to train we're in the sport yeah. because we love to work mm-hmm. out we like to train mm-hmm. If you choose a division, you love it. You've got to be careful. You don't train yourself mm. out of that division. The, yeah. Perfect and segue. Yeah. Yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay, but. that's perfect because our next segue is about workout. Yes. 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 So yes. <laughs> I just laid it out Thank for you. Thank you. Okay. So now, okay, now you saw their physiques behind us. Now we're gonna show the different training styles that each division typically does, okay. and maybe this would fit your workout style mm-hmm. and and help with that. All right, so now we're gonna go into the training styles of each of these different divisions. So we're gonna start with bikini. So mm. here is maybe a typical type of workout that a bikini athlete would do. Um, well, who do we have here? <laughs> so a little bit more functional fitness, not crazy heavy weights, but doing, you know, glute workouts, lunges, Kickbacks. This is Camille herself. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I love it. She's amazing. Oh my God. So this is, uh, okay, the, some of these that were also during COVID. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't post my workout well, much anymore. You were doing. Hip thrusts, mm-hmm. RDLs, a lot of glute and hamstring, but not crazy heavy, but yeah. just enough for kind of tone. Lots of volume. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, kind of high, maybe higher volume. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, especially depending upon when you are in your prep. So next we're going to go into wellness. We have uh, Francia You don't have like Matos. eight plates on each side of your leg press or anything yeah, like no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so oh here's Francielli. So wow. she is all about heavy, heavy. legs. She has heavy whole legs. Stack there. Wow, look at that. <laughs> And I'm sure she probably even goes heavier. I know she's incredible to watch her workout. Yeah, but that time under tension that she does is incredible. Yeah, I know. I think people would be so impressed to see her physique look at that. and then yes. look at her train. That's Franciella. It's just yeah. amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's ins- it's incredible. Yeah, because that's definitely like what oh I expect. Those are some, those are some real glutes, glutes, ladies. Seriously. Those oh, are I some love real it. glutes. Look at that. Uh huh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Like this, it's it's bodybuilding. Yeah, yes, on the lower yes, half. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I want to go to the heavy, gym right heavy. now. And I and I really do. <laughs> think that we're all, right? We're all bodybuilding. I'm training legs you know? in the gym tonight. My workout didn't motivate you like that. Me too. <laughs> like, I work out with you. I see what you do. Look at those calves, my lord, woman. I love wow. it. Wow. Mm. All right, so oh. here's, uh, well that's, that's now a that's the typical wow. fitness work. Wow, <laughs> that's some serious training. That's how you become a champion. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Is this what that's it takes? Exactly. Yes. You didn't twist your ankle, don't in do this heels. at home. <laughs> this, this was a, if you can do it in heels, you're good. Wow. Is, this, is, this, is this supposed that's to? That's why I would never do a dance <laughs> competition. You guys are super energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, we have a real one. Oh, we have a real one. That's not how Whitney works out. Wow. Well, <laughs> well we now we know what it takes. That's it, hilarious. That's, that's but this was, this is how crazy Whitney is. She loves to dance in her heels. I, you better not do a bath flip in those things, that's all I have to say. I did some break dancing. I think Ashley... Um, has done. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you got the split. You're doing it really? right. Oh, yeah. Really? You know what? I'm telling you, this is a huge like, one for sure. Don't have enough <laughs> it is. I mean, those heels, they're the mules, too. They're not, like, I'm so, not attached hey, Shuker, to them. you want to give us on? heels to wear. No. She said, if you want to do fitness ladies, you just they have to know the basics. They so well. Don't worry about doing anything crazy. You just need to know the basics. But honestly, like, those, those are the skills I do whether I'm in heels or not. But, yeah. yeah. But see, this is the thing wow. that with, with, uh, with f- fitness and your physique, because you guys, like, you do weight training, but 
You have yeah. all of this, yes. all the movements so that you do. So many other things. Yes. That, right. So you're, yes. you're, as far as your physique, like how do you control? To be honest, mm. not do you to even have to credit anyone in our division, right. but like we have the jankiest bodies of any division <laughs> because of the injuries. And when we're training for certain routines, mm -hmm. like you'll, if you're right, I'm right dominant. So my quad gets a lot bigger than my left. Mm -hmm. So then when I'm training and actually doing my weight training, depending on what skills I'm doing in that routine, I change my training and I'll That's offset it. That's what I would think, and wow. That's yeah, what I would think. It's very, and then sometimes, you know, again, we have injuries, so you have one shoulder that's just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our bodies are all jacked up Well, you're, janky, you're built so. for function. It's, a, it's, <laughs> yes. it's like, it's crazy because I always say that bodybuilding is an aesthetic-based sport and something like CrossFit is performance-based. So like yeah. coming from performance sports like track, mm -hmm. soccer, you know, gymnastics these are performance sports like your goal is to perform and whatever mm -hmm. happens with your body is the byproduct of how you're performing fitness is unique because it, yeah. it's performance based mm -hmm. and aesthetics based there's no denying the mm -hmm. fact that mm -hmm. because you're performing you're going to build traps you're going to build your obliques yeah. mm -hmm. you're going to build and muscles and that things you're not aesthetic. wanting to right. build so there's aesthetics. something you do not train like when you're, as far as the weight training because you feel yeah. like you get that from your for me personally I only train shoulders and back I, I'll train mm -hmm. glutes. Mm -hmm. I never train quads because I'm quad dominant. And you need them to I, need to. Yeah, if I do it for a training video, yeah. my quads are blown up for mm -hmm. a week. I just so. have to say something. Whitney, you are amazing. Seriously? She doesn't want to hear that. I know. I don't care. I hate always compliments. It's insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What you do is like, it's it's nuts. And I was a gymnast and I was a dancer and I just, and I wussed out. And I'm just, I just have so much respect. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're, we're now we're, 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 no. we're <laughs> the fitness girls. We have a little right. bit of crazy Seriously. in us. Well, so. that's where, and that's where when we were talking about like switching divisions or transferring over and yeah. thinking about a division, yeah. like I know how to do a backhand spring. I don't do backhand spring a long time. But just <laughs> because you can do a backhand spring yeah. doesn't mean that like, you, you can translate that onto the stage. Right. Sure. Like when yeah. I see you, you know, on stage and move, you have to be really, really confident and comfortable. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and the way you're moving around and you were doing what you were doing in those heels, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, okay. that's even a good practice for people that have to walk in heels. Because yeah. yeah. when I yeah. see you guys walking in heels like that, you know you're confident. You're like, oh, I could do I, anything yeah. in these I could definitely walk. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, yeah, ladies, yeah. stop yeah. right there because yeah. we have to take okay. a quick commercial break <laughs> and then we're going to come right back and do some more workout videos. Okay, we're excited about this. <laughs> you diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro 10. And we are back. So we were showing some workout videos and we have figure next to show you guys. So a figure workout would be more this style. Who do we have here? Bun -da -na -na. Oh. Windy. Boom. Get it, get it. No. So she kind of works get it, out. Get it. Kinda. <laughs> and definitely like heavier. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely structured. like my mind is connected mm -hmm. so much to my muscle. It's it is aesthetics. You know, we're not trying to perform. Mm -hmm. We're trying to create. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people they misinterpret. You know, building muscle. They they pile on the weight. They put you know tons of plates on those leg presses. Mm -hmm. They 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 you know injure themselves and you can't build your muscle if you can't feel exactly what you're trying to target so that's a that's a huge you know try to you know progress overload pro progression overload with with weight but with not Losing that connection. Yeah, it's yeah. a very, very important thing. I think you're I a perfect example so of being yeah. in the figure division and you're smaller, your structure in comparison to, yes, to Sid, I, right? As far as height <laughs> and size, how, how tall are you? Five feet. You're five feet, yeah. <laughs> and I think amazing. Sid might be like She's like five, five two, five, three. You know what? I think Sean Sid Carita might, yeah. is my spirit animal, oh, okay? He's yeah. awesome. <laughs> He's yeah. awesome. After the Arnold, I am fully motivated. Sean Clarita is five feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm going to say one so, thing back to Wendy. I train. I have had the the pleasure to work out with Wendy a few times. I don't. I don't we don't actually work out. We're we chatting. Just the time. <laughs> but this isn't how the magic is made. I told her. <laughs> Wendy just said she's very focused and has that mind muscle connection. Mm -hmm. In the video, she's extremely focused too. What blows my mind about you training is you don't listen to music. I don't. Mm. I know. And you're that focused. Wow. I'm like, I don't. Yeah. It's amazing to me. Mm -hmm. I have weird, like I told you, I have some I have weird things. If I have something on my ears, like hanging it just uh -huh. it distracts me i i actually i record whenever i record my workouts <laughs> it's at the end of my training so i'll keep my phone in my locker i don't have my phone on me i don't have earphones on me i'm focused i'm all in on my workout and then afterwards so i can post something on my instagram i'll go get my phone out of the locker or matt will use his phone and we'll record something after i'm done but most people use make sure i'm fully pumped i know focused. i was looking at whitney's That's facial expression she was looking at you she's, she's like, like what? What? well because no, I'll, put, I'll put them in sometimes i I need yeah. it for noise reduction. Yeah. yeah. I love music, but if I really need to be focused, I don't because I dance yeah. while I lift. Oh, it's yeah. like, uh, I'm like, oh, nope. Okay. I would, so sometimes do you remember I when those big to, old earphones were yeah. like at the yeah. end of uh -uh. around this big old earphones yeah. like that? Yeah. Well, but I, I can't wear not those have them. Talk to me. That's the yeah. thing. Like, yeah. that's why I think I was shocked yeah. is if I didn't have earphones in, Everyone would be right. chitter chattering. Yeah. Anyway. Do you guys have train at your gyms? In. Do you train at your gym? Your yes, yes, I do, but then I have other yeah. memberships. Yeah, yeah, so I understand because it's, like a three it's hour, difficult. A three hour tour. People yes. stop. You're like yes. one exercise. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next, we're going to go into <laughs> women's physique workout. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Natalia. Natalia Coelho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's exactly. the thing with them. They get to just. Her videos Go were kind of out. short, but... Um, but women's physique, yeah, they still do have to but, uh, stay heavier, in Heavier than figure and just, like, mm -hmm. going for the gusto. Mm -hmm. Dang. But would you say that even if you're, let's say, a figure competitor and you need to put, uh, on let's muscle? say, size mm -hmm. on, right, yeah. then don't you have to take the same approach? Yeah. Yeah, I think... That, that, yeah. That, I mean, for that body part. And that's the thing. Almost every division has to train, mm -hmm. you know, the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have this, uh, our this last year. division, women's bodybuilding. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys have already seen this look. Where in the heck did you find this? I'm glad you look saw this. Look at that hairstyle. Amazing. Didn't I tell you that I had to just stop wearing that hairstyle? <laughs> I cannot get off of the hairstyle and the and I have braces on. But listen guys. to you talk. You're still beautiful. Aww. You walked up like a boss to that bar. Ooh, ooh! I should do that. Now, nah, see, I don't Whatever do that movement anymore. I don't need. I, mean, I don't no, do I not. But do then that just shows. I mean, things have changed, and, and I know that that is not a good movement. Do not do lat pull downs behind your back unless okay, you know. Okay, I've just recently started to focus more on my stretch on this, mm -hmm. and it's like focusing on like having that almost mm -hmm. like tension as yeah. you stretch. Yeah, yeah. Let the weight and go. Open. Mm -hmm. You think of opening that yeah. muscle so that yeah. you can then pull it and grow. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my God. And, and guys, like, like I just have to say, like, oh, I, MG, like, oh, just MG. evolved from that to who I am. I, I love this. Really yeah, this is terrace. so cool. That's me. You're really focusing on your look, Terry's muscles, not your. Look at my outfit. Is yeah. that your outfit? You got yeah. lace. Ooh, lace. So sexy. Oh my God, I mean, so that's probably going to be in like bombshell next season. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I guess if you guys, I don't know, I would say looking at my physique, because people always said if we had uh, women's physique, would I be a women's physique competitor? Would I have gone in that division? But there you can see I really. Have you have a very lot. Yeah, shoulders. your shoulders. Yeah. Very yeah. a lot. That's, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Too, too Building the, the front of my lats from, like, the, the front view, what, do you, what did you do to, like, build the front surface of your, of your lats? The front? Well, I mean, for me, my go-to for back... Bent over barbell rows, one arm dumbbell rows, but it's like what you're saying. It's yeah. like the focus and the being focus. really connected yeah. with yeah. your back, and you're doing the right thing. Like yeah. for me, when I do pullovers, I could I could do pullovers and focus on mm -hmm. detail on my back. I could focus on width, or like lately, I've been using the straight bar to try to get the the surface mm -hmm. of the yeah. front of my lat. Mm -hmm. So it's like mm -hmm. the same exercise done three different ways mm -hmm. to hit the yeah. muscle three different ways. Yeah, and and that thing too is key. Like if you're trying to put on size, your rest. 
you know, the yeah. rest and recovery mm -hmm. is super that important. Part. That's super, super duper important and yeah. not overtraining. Yeah. yeah. So and placing that uh, that body part in the right place. Like yeah. you would not want to like right behind uh, back, like do the next day, do some upper body or something. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Strategically place it yeah. mm -hmm. so you can get the maximum recovery. Yeah. Well, choosing the division that suits you, there's many things besides just body type. There's yeah. also, and this is a, we're kind of wrapping this episode up unfortunately, but also preference, <clears throat> personal preference. Sure. It's, yeah. it's ultimately, it's your body that you will be living with. Mm -hmm. And so you need to select a division that suits your lifestyle, your goals, you know, you compete mm -hmm. maybe so many days out of the year, yeah. but the rest of the year it's a, it's a physique that you're, that you're living with. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of factors that come into play when selecting mm -hmm. the right division. Mm -hmm. um, and these yeah. were just some of yeah. our Comparisons, yeah. Like yeah. be 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 short sighted in what you want now, but be long sighted in thinking about like, am I gonna be happy with the way that I look ten years from now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. ten years from now happens, <laughs> and, and, and maybe you're at a point in your life where you're like, this division is not really suiting my needs. I don't, yeah. I don't have the energy. I don't have, I, I don't want to train that heavy anymore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or yeah. I want to really bump it up. Mm -hmm. That allows you to maybe look at the division yeah. right next How to you. If you guys are wanting to choose a division, you want our help then why don't you send us uh, yeah. send us your photos and maybe if you're willing to be in one of our episodes, we can do an assessment for you here and we'll yeah. give you our professional opinion on it. Yeah. That'd be that awesome. Fun. We'll include yeah. our link below in the description below. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in today. Stay tuned for future episodes. You can catch all of our episodes on Olympia TV and thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye.